Chapter 3 Clouds are gathering in the distance. A light breeze rustles the leaves of the Banksia lining James Street. As mid-morning approaches, the sidewalks and shops fill with the everyday activity of the Burley community. The rich, bitter smell of coffee, offset by sweet cardamom, drifts out of an opening roller door. Hassan's repair is decoratively scrawled on a wooden sign hanging from a counter bench that stretches halfway across the shop front door. Under the coffee and cardamom, the shop smells faintly of oil and solder. Inside, Hassan takes a deep breath. The combination of smells and energy of the street outside remind him of Cairo, where he was born. The Banksias have mirrored the growth of Hassan's business since he arrived with his partner, Aiton, years earlier. To welcome them, the community planted the Banksias outside his shop. Today, they stand higher than him, helping to cool the street and house insects and birds. Leaving home is never easy, but Hassan is proud of the life he and Aiton have created here together. Aiton is a woodworker in the furniture workshop next door. When they arrived, Hassan brought the skills his father passed on to him in Egypt, and Aiton introduced traditional Egyptian carpentry techniques to the workshop. Hassan looks around his shop. Objects sit in varying states. Toward the back, carefully arranged parts wait to be composed into something new. Wires ordered by type, containers of small screws and stacks of circuit boards. Toward the front, newly restored appliances wait to be sold. An arriving customer draws Hassan towards the shop's front counter. From habit, he wipes his hands on his apron. Good morning, how can I help? He asks. The customer places an old radio on the counter. I think I've got a loose wire. It's not picking up any stations. Hassan looks the radio over, turning the dials and noting the scratched, faded gleam of the metal casing. The customer rests on a shop front stool shaded beneath the banksia and thanks Hassan as he pours two cups of coffee on the counter. Hassan works quickly, showing the customer how he attaches the new wire while exchanging stories about music, Egypt and sandstorms. Above the shop front, a red flowering gum branch bends under the weight of an inquisitive magpie. The scraps of shiny metal attract her eye. She startles as Safi and Billy pull up on their cargo bike, passing the customer with a fixed radio. More medals flash at the magpie from the bike's front trailer. Hello, Maggie, Billy calls up to the flowering foliage. You better watch out for the coming storm, Safi adds, hopping off the bike. Hassan carries another cup of coffee out of the shop front to Safi. Good morning, Billy. Looking up at the gathering clouds, he adds, Safi, you made it back just before the storm. Hassan turns to the bike's trailer. And what have you found this time? In the shade of the sidewalk banksias, Hassan, Safi and Billy carefully unload electronics, appliances, boxes of knobs, dials, buttons and bundles of wires onto the well-worn counter. What are you going to do with all this? Billy asks Hassan. Let me show you, Hassan replies.